All right, listen up, YouTube. I'm going to tell you about the time I almost lost my virginity, but I didn't quite at the time. So, this was the summer before my senior year of high school. Uh, I won't tell you the real names of these people. I'm going to give them different names just to protect their identities. Yeah, this was the summer before my senior year of high school. Uh, and I my I have a great aunt and great uncle that have a place in Florida. Uh, it's at an apartment complex. Um, and I've been there a number of times uh, throughout my life. Um, and so here and there, me and my brother, sister, and cousins would meet um, people who live at that complex or would visit that complex or whatever. So there was this one girl, I'm going to use a different name uh, for her. Um, let's call her Mary. Uh, she's from uh, Maryland um, and she, her parents bought an apartment in that apartment complex. Um, and so, and they started living there. Uh, but Mary um, went to college uh, in Florida. Um, so yeah, this, this apartment complex is in Southern Florida. Uh, it's like 20 minutes away from Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach. Uh, and so Mary and I were like 17 at the time. Uh, and she and I would like make out here and there and stuff like that. Um, and this girl, like, we, we did vibe well and stuff like that. Uh, and in, like, um, we would, like, normally, like, make out at night, like, outside, like, on the tennis court or at the pool or uh, uh, at, like, her apartment here and there. Um, and, yeah, it was just, like, nice, good vibes, you know what I mean? Uh, to be in, like, the summer, to have this little summer fling while I was there. And, like, she was there for, like, uh, a month, and, and me too at the time. Like, when I was younger, I used to go for longer periods of time to Florida because I didn't have uh, as many responsibilities as I do now, as now that I'm more of an adult. Um, so, <coughs> so... Um, she was actually the first girl I've ever done any sexual experience with. Uh, she gave me hand jobs here and there, but that was it. There was, there was nothing more than that. Uh, but, uh, she was not a virgin, uh, at the time. Like she wasn't a virgin anymore. Uh, but I was, uh, and she, I could tell seemed hesitant, uh, on like whether or not she wants like pursue, or no, no, she wasn't hesitant at first. I was, I was gonna say she was like hesitant on whether or not she wanted to pursue uh, uh, having me lose my virginity. She actually did like explicitly say at first like she wanted uh, to like have sex with me. Um, but I, uh, but what made her slowly lose interest in that was because uh, this other kid um, who suddenly appeared uh, on vacation there. Um, a couple weeks later, uh, that we all met and encountered, uh, like me, my cousins, uh, brother and sister, and, uh, her, uh, this kid, uh, I'm going to give him a different name, uh, Nate, uh, he's from Ohio, um, and that kid, Nate, and Mary started to vibe pretty well, uh, and this kid, Nate, like, he he plays, like, at the time, he, like, played hockey in high school. He, he's, he was, like, a cool kid and whatever. I was a lot more awkward and weird back in high school. Uh, so, but this kid was only, like, I don't know, 14 or 15. And mind you, we're, like, 17. Uh, so, it was, like, kind of a weird age difference. Um so, but she was starting to prefer him and started to have a thing with him. Uh, and on top of it, like, um, <clears throat> they had a situation where Nate uh, was able to, was living in his own apartment at the time. 
meaning it was an extra apartment that his grandparents had uh, that Nate was able to just chill at and do whatever at. So like they had their own situation where they could have like sex in there. So that's what they started doing. And then slowly over time, she like lost more and more interest in me uh, because she started this thing with Nate, which was more preferable uh, and because Nate wasn't a virgin. Uh, so pretty much uh, I ended up losing my chance of losing my virginity. I honestly think I would have lost my virginity uh, if Nate wasn't in the picture, uh, but he happened to be in the picture. It was a pity because uh, I did really vibe well with this girl, uh, and, and I was hopeful that, that this was finally going to be the chance uh, I was going to lose my virginity into this girl. So it would have been neat, but whatever, that's life. Uh, I ended up losing my virginity uh, my freshman year of college, uh, which was like a couple years after then. Um, but uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah, I actually uh, messaged her. I messaged her um, this past summer uh, to see, like, what's up, like, how she's been, blah, blah, blah. Because uh, the last time I saw her was the summer before my freshman year of college so it's been quite a while she now lives there at that apartment complex because she graduated uh from a college in miami and now is going to graduate school in miami uh and so that's why she doesn't live in maryland anymore also considering how her parents like fully made the move to live in florida uh, but yeah, she and I had a good conversation. Uh, I, I could t I could tell she like noticed I glowed up, like meaning in the sense that I'm not remotely as socially awkward as I was before. Uh, and she's probably looking back now like, oh, wow, I was a nice guy, blah, blah, blah. Because like sometimes there's girls uh, during like that time period or a certain time period in their life where they're thinking they're wanting like the douchey bad guys, this, that, but then they end up realizing, wait a minute, I'm done with that phase and they want to go for the nice good guys or whatever. And then also another thing too is that I honestly like look a lot better than I used to. Uh, Cause like, I don't know, I just like ended up fitting my body a lot better. I ended up working out more facial hair, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I, the only problem right now is I'm like balding, but who cares? Uh, it still works. Um, but whatever. Uh, but my point is, is it's, it's, it's very interesting how life works. You never know what's going to come at you, what sort of obstacles. And then two is you never know if those people can come back in your life one way or another. So it was neat to be able to uh, contact her, you know, uh, again, uh, when it was so many years after. Uh, so that's that. Thank you for listening. Uh, and yeah, check out my other stuff. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.